The Ekuru Leni Jewelry Project is modelled on Wakanu Ubuntu's integrated development model, combining expertise from different industry and development partners in an aim to address unemployment and skills development challenges. Wakanu Ubuntu CEO Demos Tuckless tells us more. With this project here, the Ekuru Leni Jewelry Project, we hope to achieve uh, very similar to what we've achieved with the other projects, but go one step further in terms of the sustainability aspect. Uh, so the projects are based on, on Wakanu's integrated development model, which essentially has three pillars, uh, a manufacturing side, a production side, and a training side, uh, in terms of uh, production, SMME production, my apologies. So uh, that, that means that you've got to have broad industry participation, uh, and in this case, I mean, we've got wonderful partners in the Jewelry Council, uh, development partners with uh, Mintek, uh, the Khabani program, Harmony Jewelry School, and Vukani itself as a development organization. Then we have industry expertise uh, uh, from the MQA in terms of the training side. We have a mentor, a technical mentor in uh, Alan May, uh, Manufacturing Jewelers, which is the biggest manufacturing jewelry uh, outlet in South Africa. So it seems we've hit it right on the button this time. We've really got a great partnership. And uh, not to mention the funders, of course, uh, last but not least, uh, Rand Refinery, Ikuruleni, Meto, and uh, DTI, who have greatly supported this project. So it's, it's good news all around. He explains how this project will benefit the community. Wonderfully, because essentially what we do is we build what we call an enabling environment. So community members come here. Uh, this, uh, as you can see from, from the workshops and stuff, if you have to go to a Technicon and do the same type of course, it's going to cost you 20, 30 grand a year. Uh, this training is free. So community uh, benefits by completely free training. We upskill the people as well. Uh, we ensure jobs. Uh, and we've got a 97% placement rate. The beneficiation project is based at Rand Refinery's premises in Germiston. Rand Refinery MD Jeff Miller tells us why the company decided to house, sponsor and support the project. It's a part of the dovetailing that took place with our beneficiation that we commenced in that year was to look at our corporal and social responsibility. And the best way we could do it is help the gold manufacturers on our site. And that's exactly what we've done by setting up this uh, facility.